Hi, I'm Tracy with CampingGearTV.com. Today I will be reviewing the Adventure Racing Pro Toolkit by Brooks Range Mountaineering. Now, uh, Brooks Main Range Mountaineering is um, a very small company of mountaineers. Um, their quality of their product is actually tested by some of the world's top uh, mountaineering and backcountry professionals. And those professionals just happen to make up the board of the uh, Brooks Range Advisory Board. So, not the worst job, I would say. Um, the majority of their equipment is made in the, uh, in the USA. And um, where, it's, where it isn't, they actually tell you. Now today, I will be, uh, like I said, I'll be reviewing their Adventure Racing Pro Kit. For those of you who do not know what Adventure Racing is, it's a style of race off-road that involves uh, mountain biking, paddling, whether it's kayaking, canoeing, rubber rafting it, um, and trail running or trekking, depending on the length of the race. It's made up of like um, teams of either one to four people, co-ed, all male, all female. Um, now, generally, uh, races can vary. There's sprint races and then there's expedition races. Now, the sprint races um, are obviously a lot shorter. Um, expedition, obviously, a lot longer. Now, with all adventure races, you are given a map, and basically the whole basis of adventure racing is to find checkpoints and in a, a lot of amount of time and win the race. Um, now, with the smaller, shorter races, uh, generally the um, checkpoints are already plotted on there for you, so you don't have to worry about you know orienteering too much. You should know how to read a map. It helps, uh, or at least know you know where north is and be able to read a compass. Now, um, with the longer races, you're given a map. Generally, you're given coordinates, and you have to plot the coordinates yourself for the different checkpoints. So it's not just a matter of going out and finding the checkpoints. You actually have to plot them on your map and then go out and find them. So you want to make sure that you have someone, obviously, on your team that is an avid orienteer or, um, you know, or a couple people, which would be even better <laughs> because one person does not like to get stuck with that job. <laughs> it's a big responsibility when you're carrying an entire team. Now, um, with that said, uh, that's where the uh, Adventure Racing Toolkit Pro comes into play. Now, um, as you can see, uh, it's nice and compact, but it's got a ton of great features on it. Now, the field kit itself, as you can see, is nice and bright, which is great because if you throw this in your pack, you don't have to rummage around, you can actually see where it is. It's not, you know, a secret. It's not well hidden. Um, the thing is with this, it's got a Velcro closure, so once everything is in there, you can pack it out nice and tight, cinch it closed, nothing's going to fall out. Uh, on the front here, as you can see, they have a place for pens, and um, when you're racing marking points on your maps, you usually want to use a different color for each leg of the race, because in this way it's less confusing, because you'll have marks all over that map. Now, on the inside, they have a bunch of different pockets here, which is great for your passport, or any other information that you need. They also have a little velcro strap in here with a little pocket that you can throw other stuff on, whether it's, you know, extra pens, maybe your UTM plotter, whatever. At the back, they have another pocket here with a little elastic top, so you throw your compass in there, extra pen storage, and more pockets. As you can see, it also comes with a field book. Um, now, this field book is pretty cool because it's actually waterproof, so whether it's like rainy or cold or whatever, you can still write in it. Uh, now, it's just a matter of whether or not your pen will write in it. <laughs> so, but the paper itself, you can write on that. Um, which is actually really good because in certain situations you need to write certain things down, whether it's passwords or, you know, I don't know, markers or mile markers or whatever it happens to be at the time. Um, now, like I said, once you're packed everything into there, you can close it up nice and tight and it's not going anywhere. It keeps it super organized, which is great because generally when you're adventure racing, um, you have a map carrying case, obviously that carries your map, it's waterproof. But then, unfortunately, you throw everything else in there. You throw your pens in there. You throw your extra maps in there. You throw your passport in there sometimes. Um, but And it's not organized at all. So not only are you continuing to open up your waterproof map carrying case, which, you know, ultimately, when it's raining, is no longer waterproof if uh, you keep opening it to get your pens out or any other pieces of <laughs> information that you might need. This, however, keeps all the other extra information organized so that you have your map separate from this. Now, um, this also comes with um, a UTM plotter. Now, 
This may be um, one of the most important things that you need during an expedition or a long race when you're plotting points. Uh, it's about as important as your compass or your map itself because without this you're not able to actually plot any of your points on your map. I mean, I guess you are, but if you don't really know what you're doing, then you're really not. You're kind of out of luck. Now, um, this particular tool is great. It's small, it's compact, but it's highly durable. It, you know, it's bendy, but it's not going to snap in half. I've had other ones that have snapped in half, that have broken in my pocket. The corners break off, so these, you know, it's pretty much just useless after that. This, I have not had that problem with. It, it's also non-glare. So most of them are just totally clear plastic. This is a non-glare. So if you're in the sun or whatnot, direct sunlight, it's not going to, you know, have a hard time reading it if it's against the map and you're, you know, not a bunch of glare on it. Now, this actually has a bunch of different scales on there, the most common scales that are used in adventure racing, which are um, 1 in 10,000, 1 in 1,500, 1 in 2,400, 1 in 2,500, and 1 in 30,000. Now, it's accurate within um, 1 50th of an inch, which is basically, you know, the size of the end of a pin, um, which is exactly what you want, because when you're standing out in the woods after, you know, 8 to 10 to 20 hours of racing, um, the last thing you want to do is be 40 meters away from your checkpoint in the middle of the dark, in the middle of the night, totally dark, can't find anything, and um, have to give it up, go on to the next one. It's very frustrating. You can lose races. <laughs> now, um, this basically allows you to plot your um, coordinates within a one kilometer um, map grid with at least um, 10 meters of precision. So, like I said, this way, if you are know what you're doing, you've plotted it correctly. Worst case, if you're off just a smidge, it should only be, you know, about 10 meters off. <laughs> Hopefully. Ideally. Um, the other thing is, it has this little hole here, for, so you can throw it around your neck, put it on a lanyard, um, with your map carrying case, so you have it right there with you, which is, which is really nice. It weighs about you know, 0.2 ounces, which is absolutely nothing. So, um, you know, nice and lightweight. It also has a um, compass rose on it and common um, conversion chart as well, like one kilometer, 0.62 miles, you know, for all of those who can't rattle those off the, off the top of their head. Now, um, the kit also comes with a adventure racing pocket plotter, which is basically the same kind of thing as this, just a smaller scale. It's about the size of a business card. Um, it has the most common scale on here, which is one in 2400s. Um, it also comes with a common um, conversion that you might need off the top of your head, and a little ruler on the side, highlighted in the red. Uh, it also has a little part here where you can hang around your neck with your compass, um, or you could just slip it into your pocket. Either way, it's not very big. Now, um, the thing I like the most about this is how organized it keeps everything. Like I said, I can't even uh, state how important that actually is when you're looking for a pen, when you're looking for your plotter, whatever. Um, the good thing is, is this will carry everything. And, you know, a lot of the times, you know, it's more than one teammate that has a plotter on them, but not everybody's got it out right at the time. So if someone loses theirs or whatever, you'll have it all packed right in here, easy to find. It's great. Um, my experience with this product is that it is, you know, a, it's actually a really great product because I, they pretty much hit the nail on the head here. As far as organization, as far as, um, you know, compact and nice, bright, easy to find, lots of pockets so you can keep lots of stuff in there. The waterproof notebook, genius, because God knows how many times you're out there needing to write stuff down and you know, have a piece of paper on you. You can't take it out because it's raining. You name it. Uh, a lot of the times, and there is a lot of occasions where some, maybe the last checkpoints of a race have a password that once you get over the finish line, you have to rattle off to them. <laughs> and a lot of the times it's not checkpoint finish line. It's checkpoint a couple miles to finish line. And after, you know, hours and hours of racing, you're tired. You, you haven't eaten anything but, you know, gummy bears and you know, Fig Newtons, and your brain just doesn't work the way <laughs> you'd like it to. So it's nice to be able to write that kind of information down. This is um, pretty much, it's, it's great. This, it cleans up really easily. Uh, this was not quite so nice and shiny clean um, yesterday. 
Um, it was easy to wash. It'll probably never, ever be this clean again. <laughs> but for all those people out there watching, I cleaned it, especially for you guys. Anyway, um, the other great thing about this company, too, is that they send you a little extra additives. So, um, stickers. Love companies that send stickers with their, um, with their gear. I don't know why more companies or why all companies don't do it. Because basically it's just free advertising. It's like, hey, thanks for buying our product. Here's a sticker. Please put it on your car. Drive around with it. So people ask you about it. And then you can tell everyone about us. Free advertising. So they send stickers. They also sent me this fancy little pin. Now if you notice on the sticker, on their packaging here, on their catalog, they have the little white rabbit with the sunglasses on. Now, um, there's actually a really cool story behind that. Um, the owner of the company, Matt Brooks, was actually had acquired the little rabbit on a climb um, as a gift from a Russian climber. I guess when he met this climber, he was wearing the pin, the Russian climber was wearing the pin. When he inquired about it, the Russian climber just gave it to him. So then he started wearing it on his hat every time he'd go for a climb. Then, you know, talk around the office, all this kind of stuff. They liked the rabbit, then they decided to use the bunny icon um, as basically their company symbol, and then customers really liked it too. For a brief period of time, they actually stopped using it, and while they did that, uh, customers would call and, you know, inquire about it because they were kind of wondering where it was and why they weren't showing it anymore. So after that, that's how uh, basically the little rabbit became the um, Brooks Range Bunny, and it became the face of the company. So. Um, just a little neat side note. It's always nice when companies have that, that little extra thing and, you know, because a lot of companies he are headed up by, you know, certain mascots, certain little icons and everything, but you never really know the story behind them. Here they actually tell you about it, so it makes it kind of cool. And then this way, when you're free advertising for them, you can actually tell them about it, you know, if you want to get into that kind of conversation with someone you don't know. Anyway, um, so basically what it comes down to is I think this is a great product. Um, Biggest things I, I like about it, like I said, organization. I can't even stress how important organization is. Um, not only in adventure racing, but I'm going to say in everyday life to begin with. Who is not happier when they're organized? But they know where all their stuff is. When they're not getting in a huge giant fight with other the people that, you know, they're racing with. Or just people in general because they can't find things. This has eliminated that problem. You know, as long as you actually put all your stuff in here and put it back where it belongs. <laughs> but if... Uh, if that's the problem, it doesn't matter what kind of organization you have. Apparently, that's just a personal problem of not being able to put your stuff back. Um, this just makes it easier if you are one of the people that do that. Because, you know, organization, knowing where you're at, knowing where your stuff is at, can help you win races. That's what it's all about, people. So, that's my review. Hope it was informative. Check out Brooks Range Mountain Earring. They have more products than this. Obviously, they have clothing. They have shovels. They have sleds. They have all sorts of stuff. So... They have a wide range of backcountry, mountaineering gear, obviously adventure racing gear as well. And so check them out online, Brooks Range Mountaineering. And stay tuned to CampingGearTV.com for more reviews. I'm Tracy. I'll see you next time. Thanks.